let's get in then. As we are in and it's going to be really nomad. So let's check how the players are going to be starting. Oh, it's a funny nomad. Every time that you are actually on nomad having a pond in the middle, you can be assured that it's going to be fun map. And because it usually confuses players uh, around and even though there are a lot of fishies, so it's not, not really all that much of an issue if they build in there, it usually also, also, or rather is also having quite profound effect on later game if the game goes late uh, because of course you are going to be able to use cannon galleons and they are quite a strong unit on a map like this because they are having huge range and can kill a whole lot of buildings from the water of course so civilizations are going to be vikings persians chinese and mayans for both of these teams pretty much standard civilizations for a map like this not really any kind of Surprise at that and who is actually going to be standing where well so far I'm looking at cool He's going to be having a nice start with gold stone and literally everything that he needs even some more in here on the left And he is going to be joined by Say my name. He's going to be also quite close by in here Having a lot of gold some hand some stone definitely pretty nice position for him and well Apparently there is going to be a flank player in here and it's going to be fire who is going to be joined by Goku Goku is just docking on the left. Otherwise, this town center is coming into the middle. So it's going to be all up to fire to actually defend this choke point, which is not bad. And these choke points are going to be also quite important while these choke points is one choke point. Because on the right, they just, well, that's just a bit too big. A bit too big to call it a choke point. And well, it's going to be up to fire and his skill to make sure that his opponents are not coming through his part of the, of the map into his pocket players. Otherwise, Bekti is going to be all up to... What? This is funny. How is this gonna work? Because right now, yeah, this is, this is good. This is gonna be a good game. We are looking at Fire from Brazil A. Then there is Goku from Brazil A. Then there is kind of halfway Ryut from Brazil A. His other half is on the right. Whereas in the meantime we are also having ACCM from Vietnam A and Bekti from Vietnam A in here. What the hell is gonna happen? Alive KGB is just basically right now being ostracized from his team, <laughs> being on the other side of the map. But he still does have a T Street in there close by. And th this is... Oh... Yeah, this is gonna be really interesting how actually Vietnamese approach this because they are basically cornered. Two of them, ACCM and Bekti are basically trapped behind the line of Brazil A. Oh well. Hmm. This could be quite tricky for Vietnam. And it's Chinese and who is the other one? The purple Viking. Yeah, Viking. He definitely didn't want to have Vikings as the one we will have to defend. That's not great. That's not great at all. But at the same time, it might also allow some fun stuff from Cool. And say my name on the left. Uh, because of course they will be right now probably not really all that under all that much of a pressure they will probably be allowed to do a bit more of booming and whatnot and in the castle age they might they just might be actually able to do something significant with horses uh, but it's going to be a question of time if they are going to be fast enough to help their teammate back tea and accm because if not then this game might be fairly short if uh, Brazil actually realize what the map is looking like and how it's going to be playing out for them Mm, this is really kind of interesting map. Definitely curious how this is going to be playing out. A bit of a pause apparently yet again in there all across the map. The dogs are going to be all across the map apparently. A bit of an idol in here for a live Kai GB. It actually seems like that it was a bit more idle than it seemed at first sight. Dog from ACCM from Bekti is going to be also at the top. How's it looking for the opposing dogs? Hmm, nothing all that much across the shoreline. Just this one that we have already seen from Goku at the bottom has going to be from blue from say my name on the left. And there is another way through. This is going to be just cut and they will have to go all the way around. Okay, interesting. And in the meantime, of course, right now we are looking at Vienna School who is actually docking the middle pond and so is actually fire. So that's going to be a bit of a fight between the Mayan and the opposing. Mayan, so Mayan, Mayan water battle in here and apparently it's looking like that nobody is going to be joining them all that much because they are on the perimeter on the waters in there so yep that's definitely going to be a fair fight 
between those two and potentially opening some opportunity for say my name to mess up fire on the land that definitely could be happening in here uh, but since he's Persian he's going to be waiting for the gas rage and then only go on with the horses in there let's see about that let's see about that well Dark Age is still rampant all across the map so of course right now Riot is using the opportunity of his very nice map too continue with booming and in the village account and how's it looking actually with the villagers in here so far it is at 18 which makes sense because he's chinese but at the opposing chinese back he is only at 16 only at 16 but he at least does have two extra fishies and it's almost actually looking like that gray is not having dog ah right now he has just dog a bit later so even though Riot might have seen that he actually is here have, that he's having a bit more villagers in there it's not really that much of an advantage because back tea, on the other hand does have few more fishing boats so the economy is more or less equal not really that much of a difference between them in the end otherwise 17 17 and 17 hmm actually brazil a seems to be a few seconds behind vietnamese a so Vietnamese are apparently having slightly, ever so slightly, nothing really game changing yet. A better economy. As already walling is coming up. ACCM trying to wall against his opponent, against Goku. And he's going to be forced to continue on the left as well. Fortunately he hasn't really moved there fast enough. And apparently it's going to be slightly faster by Goku. Trying to make sure that he's not going to be surprised by that player at all. Well, with back T... Um, it's gonna be kind of hard for Becky to actually wall if he wants to because he's literally right next to Riot. Like literally next to him. It's gonna be very hard to make any kind of attempt at wall. Right now Riot is actually going to be trying to attempt at least the one on the left. Because if his opponent in the fuel age and the early castle age is going under the TC, it's already a bit of an advantage for him because of course that's a lot of free damage. And it's going to be dealt through unit and... Well, he still needs to be careful because there was quite sneaky walling. Sneaky walling of the stone mine in here by back D, but yeah, the gold is going to be probably a problem for real because he doesn't have all that much of it at the back. This is very far away. But yeah, if he wants to, he's going to be having some extra gold in here. So it doesn't necessarily rely on the gold in the front. It could be potentially problematic for him. I'm not exactly sure if it the same can be said about uh, back D. They are having two goals, but provided they actually lose the water, they are going to be having just the one. And that is an issue. That is an issue, and they could be probably successfully gold starving. Um, hmm, Brazil A could be probably successfully gold starving their opponents from Vietnam. Because this is going to be like the only available gold, provided they lose the water, which is not assured. But yeah. Hmm. Well, actually, let's not be too hasty. Because of course, right now Riot is in the middle water, together with Fire. They are going to be basically two versus one against Cool. As everybody is advancing into Fuel Age right about now, Life is going to be the fastest and Fire the slowest. So Cool is actually going to be signific significantly faster than both Fire and Riot potentially on the water in the middle. Interesting. As well, Goku is going to be joining into the fun on the water in the middle as well. So at this stage, at this stage, I'm thinking that actually. Uh, Brazil A are not going to be minding losing the water on the perimeter at all because still the pond in the middle is having so many fishies and I'm thinking it's going to be quite enough for the boost and for quite some time to come if, even into the gas ages and maybe even into the imperial ones not really that much of an issue and if they control the middle control the middle pond it's going to be all that much more important exactly as I said because of the potential of canon galleons in the imperial age and from this stage they could be very easily basically killing cool all the way around his bases so yeah that is that uh, but even though there is some kind of idea i'm fairly certain that this game is going to be all about back t and accm and if brazil a kill can kill them faster before their teammates are going to be able to do something to help them or if back t and accm are going to be able to defend themselves that's also still some kind of possibility in that as KGB as the Viking, of course, is going to be interested in the water and going to be making life difficult for ACCM and back T respectively. And himself taking care of quite a decent amount of fishing boats and fishing spots in there himself. But building three docks, this is basically telling you that he's going that he's going hardcore water. And it's something that you usually don't see on Omar. Usually you don't do that all that much. 
he's going to be of course quite, quite wide open potentially for some abuse by cool at the bottom that's potentially going to be a way back into the game or way into the game for vietnamese some boats all across the water not really any kind of galleys coming up yet as castles are going to be just continuing with from cool say my name goku and fire so four players in there and apparently a bit of a trash already <laughs> I think this is this is a direct reaction actually from back T to the fact how they spawned and how they built their town setup because they basically need to somehow secure the way towards his teammate towards VNS school and if they cannot really do that then they are kind of screwed and they seem to be screwed already because those villages are just going to be cut off from everything in there and with the tower on the defense being built by root exactly here it seems like that is going to be quite fine even though there is an attempt at tower in here as well a lot of villages coming in still from the right side it seems that this tower is not gonna get finished but let's not be too hasty tower is finished but of course it's not going to be surviving for much longer because all those villages are just going to be cleaned it fairly easily it's going to be attempt at another tower somewhere not much but at least he's making use of this opportunity to kill a few of the villages in there, repair the tower as much as he can. It seems to be working quite alright. And it seems like the Driot might have actually underestimated the situation. Oh, he definitely did. And right now, please, please, oh yeah, that should have been done a bit earlier. To garrison the villagers, kill a few villies himself extra, and well, he's going to be right now up to Driot to get up into the next ancient time, because of course, this torch tower is definitely going to be coming up, preventing the gold, and oh man. Since this is already second goal, there might be a bit of an issue in here. <laughs> the wall. <laughs> uh, the gate. Counter tower going to be at the, exactly the same time, it seems like. Yep, both of them are up and it's going to be tower against tower shootout. With extra support by the villagers by root. But still, this is interesting fight in here, right from the start. <laughs> interesting indeed. In the meantime, as this is probably not going to be coming anywhere all that much, just a few extra dead villages from Riot, which is actually quite significant because Riot is dropped to 25, whereas Bekti is at 29, so Riot is already dropping quite significantly. And since Goku is not in any kind of great spot either, he's at just 26 villages right now, 27. Even though he's right now going to be coming up, some defensive tower in here for ECCM. Well, the water battles are so far going. For KGB quite convincingly at the top, even though there is still a bit of a fight to be had by Galleys from the other Viking, from the other team, from ACCM. So he's not going to be giving up the claim on the water all that easily. So boats coming all across the map. Apparently right now some fire ships from Say My Name, who is quite nicely walled himself off. And well, there apparently are some water battles as well, as the Mayan Vienna School is still continuing with some fire ships himself even though he's right now going to be countered by goku still the numbers are not enough and he's definitely gonna have to be helped by fire and yeah fire ships from fire of course who else will be making them <laughs> so let's look how's it looking in the use base here again some extra towers coming up from Ryud himself trying to get extra stone for extra towers it seems like but a lot of that release all across the map in here and those villies need to be quite a lot careful. But what this does is actually keeping in check the main town center of Riot. And it's of course quite important. Especially since he's not advancing in the next age. And that will basically strangle his economy quite strongly. And well, it's going to be all up to him to advance into the next age as soon as possible. And get some extra, extra town centers himself. Because without that, that game is going to be very hard for him. Another wall on the right side. Yeah, it seems to be basically full walled by cool to help him basically fight on the water as he's basically facing a bit too many opponents in there at once which is of course going to be making things quite a bit difficult but at the same time it also means that he has been able to clean up the water economy from three players whereas he was just the one who has lost it and not really in full you can see that he's still cheekily continuing in the meantime there are going to be some blue touches already getting inside the blue space as he has apparently forgotten the wall on the left not really sure why, but he definitely did. He definitely did, and he's going to be slightly uh, annoyed, but not really anything all that major apparently, as those guys don't have enough push to deal with anything like the town centers and potentially even Mangonels that might be coming up into the gameplay in there. Well, Goku, not really doing anything all that much, just basically booming. 
getting up in the village account 55, which is right now 57. This is the most of the players, where I say my name is at 55. A few villages behind. But yeah, this trash seems to be doing exactly what it was supposed to do from back D, and the Ryut is definitely right now on his back foot. He's at 29 villages, back D is at 29 as well. So you can see that he has already been able to make up the difference in here, Ryut. But his economy is literally all across the place, and that's something <laughs> both repairing in here. That's probably something that he wasn't hoping for all that much, especially right now since Bacti has advanced into Imperial or other Castle Age a bit faster than Ryut, which will probably result into some kind of advantages from him, like the Siege Workshop a bit faster than what Ryut will be mounting against him. In the meantime, that's going to be Town Center from Yellow, from the castle, already tons of montages for him. Hmm. Some random house from Riot as the boom is coming up from Goku with all three all three town centers as it should be. One town center for the Viking as for Castle which is coming from him as well. And yeah, he's gonna be quite too late. It's gonna be quite too late, which is probably going to be resulting into life KGB's securing of the water. He's already through. Yeah, even though there are a few boats in there, he's definitely right now having the advantage and it's going to be just a question of time before he gets rid of all of those stone miners and potentially some extra water economy that could be had in here. Nothing all that major. But yeah, he should be much more doubling back and trying to get rid of the galleys because of course he should be realizing at this stage that his opponent is going to be coming for them as well. And if he can get rid of that, the same as right now, Vienna School is getting rid of all the water presence from Brazil A in the middle, then well... He would be having a pretty good shot of actually clinching the water finally. Right now, he is still letting ACCM to come back and make some kind of effort to actually claim the water in the end. Yeah, this gold is not really going to be all that safe in here. Exactly as expected before, the water is going to be secured for Vietnamese. As Big T is building yet another tower in here at the bottom. And to deny some kind of map control and also potentially the woodland better would, would camp in there. But yeah, seems like the Triot is right now basically fully in in retreat mode. Fully in retreat mode with 27 villages and everybody else is just running away from him in the numbers in there. Getting rid of the town center. But since he is in the castle age already, it's not like he's going to be mining all that much. He has probably already rebuilt in second town center he is to get back into the game and hoping that his teammates are going to be holding long enough to help him secure the map. In the meantime, forward castle built by Fire, who is going to be advancing forward on his opponent. Say my name, but it has to be said. Yeah, not really your name, but the fact that you are actually already in the next age. Ah, yeah, good headshot. And waiting for another one. As of course, say my name is already in the Imperial, almost. And Goku is going to be following, but still, it's not like Goku is anything important. He is only on the water as the Viking, but... Say my name is the important player on land, and he does have 81 villages, which is quite a lot. Goku is having 1993, so it's also nicely booming in there as the Persian. As the Persian. And well, his water battles are, of course, gone in here, and he's going to be fully concentrating on unleashing the paladins on the battlefield pretty soon already does have the stable you are probably going to be seeing a lot of a lot more of them soon and i'm not sure if he's gonna be helping on the bottom or the top right the top but it seems like that he's going to be choosing the top yeah he's right now already cutting through the wood line hoping that he can get through and annoy his opponent to no end which is probably going to be working because of course the viking is not ready for this at all and since back these engagement and fun to be had is basically just continuing with the trashing even into a live kgb in here yeah, he, he's not ready. He's absolutely not ready for the storm that is going to be coming from Goku. And Goku is absolutely going to own both of these players just by himself. He's absolutely going to own them. And all, all Fire needs to do is basically to somehow stall, at least for a moment, the armies from Say My Name. And if he succeeds in that, then I'm fairly certain and confident that Goku is going to be winning the game for Brazil A through annihilating both ACCM and Bekti. Let's see though, let's see though, maybe if maybe say my name isn't going to be stronger here. Oh, good shot. Yeah, nicely played by Fire. Nicely played and it 
It was also slightly unfortunate to say my name because, of course, he couldn't have known that the Mangonel would be there exactly at the time when he was pass passing through the choke point. So he actually couldn't have done anything at all. It was just get hit or get hit. <laughs> he was just gonna get hit at any rate. So that's exactly what happened in here, which is, of course, right now going to be landing him quite a good advantage as his archers will be able to deal with the Cavaliers in pretty low numbers in there. Another town center coming for for this, for of course the gold mine in there, as you will need that sooner rather than later, as those knights are already going to be pushing through. How are you going to be pushing through? And that will result into exactly the attack on the gold, which is like the one of the lone golds they do have. They have basically stolen gold from Riot. They are right now camped inside his base in here, but he really doesn't have any kind of units, he's basically just thrashing together with Siege. And you can only imagine what a few horses are gonna do with this. Oh yeah. That's gonna be a bit of a, a bit of a hit in there, trying to repair the battery ram as it's running away. Not really wanting to lose it at all. And some mangonel coming from the right as a live KGB. Well, probably has basically given up on the water as apparently he did have a bit more pressing engagement on the land and that basically means that on the water it's right now going to be more or less worn and controlled by a CCM so he still does have the economy and he will be also quite annoying on the economy of Riot apparently through the bottom and potentially even alive as those siege are still continuing but yeah it has to be said yet again I repeat as soon as soon as Goku gets through with his horses it's a basically done deal, but it's almost looking like looking at the dots that he's coming through the bottom. And he's curiously enough not going to be pursuing the battlefield on the top. I'm kind of thinking it's not a good idea. But he's probably just going to be aiming for securing the battle and the map through the left side, helping his teammate fire. Because Hoyer has already been able to breach the defenses. And even though he is facing quite a decent amount of cavalrys in there, he is going to be facing even more paladins because paladins are getting researched and yeah well this combination is going to be just a bit too much and let's see how it's going to be coming for red red in the meantime is also coming finally onto the battle as well from the right side and he's right now pushing on a live kgb and since i was thinking that actually this battle might not be going all that great for vietnamese it actually is right now with the joining of cool into this battlefield it's looking quite promising because this trash and those siege weapons is exactly what is needed, exactly to actually just annoy, annoy Riot, a KGB. And if a back T with Cool can actually deal with the nuisance on the right side fast enough, they still might be fast enough to actually help their teammate on the left and say my name, but he is in pretty tough situation because he's going to be facing very strong units very soon and he's already facing quite significant numbers, which is not ideal at all. Even though he's coming for Paladins, he definitely right about now needs to somehow protect the numbers because if he doesn't, then it's going to be all that easier for him to die. <laughs> yeah, let's just be clear on that. Right now, fire ships all across the shoreline. Village is coming forward for some potentially elder castle. You can see that his that fire is quite aggressively building the castle. So there's going to be another one right next to next to a base of say my name. As the town center is basically right now going to be killed. Yeah, Paladins are going to be coming from both Goku and say my name in just a matter of moments as he's trying to engage exactly now and apparently there's going to be a bit of a sling. Yep, the Viking ACCM since he's not wanting, wanted on the water anymore, needed on the water, he's going to be sending resources to his teammates and he is sending them to, to the blue player I think. I have seen correctly and in the meantime Vienna school is all around the bases of KGB and Riot and they are gonna get absolutely hammered in here Riot definitely not having a great game today rather uh, tonight in this one and he's having 67 villages but 55 of them idle he's basically having everything idle and the economy's alive KGB is absolutely dead at 32 30 of them idle so basically Riot and KGB are not in the game anymore at this stage it's just a question of time how long they are going to be able to stall and if they are going to be fast enough oh, well, all those double walls yeah, a bit of a surprise apparently right now planned by ACCM <laughs> trying to push forward with the towers and some extra mangonels a bit cool as well a few units in here this is an absolutely great idea because if they can come back through this side and actually push through it might be really making this push not all that strong you can see that same my name is losing absolutely everything in here but with Vienna school helping him Right now going to be dropping a castle for a 
basically map control to allow for some defensive buildings in there. Yeah, well, it might be really working because those, this boon Mayan. Oh, well, he seems to be playing well. <laughs> he seems to be playing well indeed. Last turn is coming from both Say My Name and Vienna School for some extra melee damage for both the horses and the eagle warriors and they are exactly stalling the enemies which is what is needed because the push on the right is more or less done let's say yeah those few eagle warriors and back these mangonas and whatnot are just going to be getting rid of the real and kgb quite well there's really not much left especially with the support from the water it seems to be going quite all right for the Vietnamese, whereas on the left the slight push has been stopped, but there is a way through, through the gate, and potentially there could be something happening. But Goku has already been alerted to this option, so he's already paying attention with the defensive castle and whatnot, trying to protect against those boats. But at this stage, ACCM, Canon Galeons, will be killing the shoreline in here. You definitely can do that. And since you are a Viking, you are basically not having any kind of purpose anymore. You are just going to be sending resources, and if you can spare, the thousands of food and gold on the Canal Galeons, it really could be Inchinu towards the victory in this game. So really, nicely played so far by VNS. Well, basically VNS, most of them, and former VNS as well. Um, as right now, the Vietnamese A are apparently having a bit of a pause with the Brazil A. Uh, but yeah, they are definitely in Chinto's victory in here. You can see the amount of villages alive, KGB at 18, Ryut at 39. They are absolutely out of the game at this stage. They are completely useless in here. With Goku being at 124, Fire at 103, that's not bad. Considering that only Cool is having 105, but the rest are 82, 82, 89, which is quite strong still indeed. And it seems to be working quite all right for Cool and same INA on the left. They are even pushing forward, getting the rate of the Plunt Archers, getting the rate of the siege weapons but another you know, council is going to be coming up with the town center stealing the precious gold the very precious gold in here as we are unpausing and emerging yet again into the battle in here and what i said at the start and i was thinking that it might be better for goku to actually push into the top and delete accm at back t right now it might be looking exactly the different side that for the vietnamese if they push through that side into goku if they mess up his economy, it's basically game over. Because without the Paladins in this battle, yeah, there's just absolutely no chance that Fire will be able to basically battle this just by, rather, on his own. And it seems like already that they are having quite a significant advantage in here. And even, <laughs> even some Monk, is it like a mistake or whatnot? Yeah, that seems to be just like some kind of mis misclick or whatnot. Not really sure what he wants to do. Maybe just in the meantime, between the battles, to heal his opponents or rather his allies and steal some opponent in there. And also on the right, as we are looking at the battle in here, it's looking how. Hmm. Not how bad. Not how bad, of course. Uh, for Vietnamese, that is. For Brazil A definitely looks quite bad indeed, because of course those eagle warriors with those mangonas and a few mocks in here, this is still working and <laughs> there are still a lot of players in Castle Age actually. Quite interesting number of players in Castle Age as there is absolute total destruction of Riot and KGB are underway. <laughs> KGB even, oh well, trying to survive in the game, you can see just even building the dock building a transport ship and he's going to be trying to run home and into safety and is he going to be caught up with oh oh yeah it's gonna be coming maybe under uh, under fire in here what's he gonna do what's he actually going to be attempting to do <laughs> i'm not exactly sure but this is just too funny is he going to be trying to rebuild the base inside or at this position the alta flag yeah he should have landed here Right now, Cool is going to be explaining how exactly big mistake that was. So KGB is going to be losing the last villager. This was the last villager of his. So he is basically out of the game altogether. And right now, GG's are going to be called by Brazil A. And, yep, to be honest, against all odds. Because this game didn't look great for Vietnamese. They have confirmed how good they are on Nomad maps. And they are tying the match at 2-2. And we are going to be seeing the decider on hideout. Oh, well. How exactly did Brazil A not win, having weak opponents? Basically, how is it? 
how to call it, trapped behind their bases. How they were not able to win that, that definitely speaks to a very high skill level on Nomad for Vietnamese. The trash absolutely caught off guard, Riot. It absolutely killed him. He was just absolutely not counted with the possibility like that. And a live KGB just followed. But he was a Viking, so it was kind of expected that he wouldn't be ready since he was fighting for the water. And well, on the left, only took for say my name is to basically hold on long enough, wait for the help by Ku, and it was all that was needed in there. So, yep, right now it's going to be stream ended and confirmation that the game is coming for Vietnamese and we are tied at 2 2. I'm still really thinking that a better course of action for Brazil A would be for Goku to push to push relentlessly into ACCM and back T at the crucial moment when they were actually just starting to be held by Ku at the bottom. And if they killed back T, if he would be just steamrolling back T with ACCM without any kind of issue, like at all. It would be just too easy for him. Yeah, well, that didn't happen. And that also. And that also means that, yeah, well, that is a tight match. Okay, let's check this. Let's check this. A school is winning the score. Yeah, he was pretty important, but I'm much more impressed by Bekti. Uh, by Bekti and his ability to actually not come under pressure and correct, execute the correct strategy in the situation. To delete Riot and basically KGB as well. That was just, basically this is his victory. His teammates, they did have extra time because of that. And that's why they were able to steamroll the opponents after that. Good team play. Good team play by the Vietnamese. Okay, Chi Chi.